Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick video on NeNe Leaks. Now listen, y'all fans, the people that scroll through the internet, do y'all sleep? Y'all like never sleep, okay? Why am I saying that? Because the fans of somebody noticed all of a sudden NeNe Leaks, okay? Um, when she went over there and did the podcast over there with Bethany, and Bethany now is in a you know, silent war with Bravo, Claiming she was going to do a whole, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, mm, union, a union for all of the, um, you know, Bravo levities so they could be treated fairly. And the minute um, Bethany said it, 10 minutes later, we ain't hear nothing about it no more. Have you heard about the union and Bethany, um, you know, that she was supposed to be, you know, organizing? Have you heard about it? Anyway, let me get back to the point here. So y'all been up all night and y'all realize that Nene scrubbed all of the promotional um, posts that she did when she was over there at Bethany's channel, Just Be, and she gave her a whole interview. Now, Nene did Just Be with Bethany after she did the Carlos King interview. And then those two said they was going to be doing podcasts together, all kind of stuff together. And then all of a sudden, she scrubbed Bethany off of her Instagram. Interesting, right? And many people are speculating, did she scrub them all? Because now she's going to be back in bed with Bravo and perhaps be on the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because The Real Housewives of Atlanta did mention that they only going to possibly keep three of the OBs. And usher in some new people or some uh, maybe some people from the past. And maybe one of those people are going to be NeNe Leaks. Now, let's get back to NeNe's excuse for scrubbing Bethany off of her Instagram, right? She said, because she's not going to continue to promote old episodes of Bethany's. And Bethany has sent after their interview, did plenty of interviews after that. She always scrubs her, her Instagram of old stuff. Does she really, though? She scrubbed it of Bethany, but she didn't scrub it of Carlos King. So let me just share, you know, the screen here. So we go down, we scroll down, we scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. No Bethany stuff. But this was from Carlos King. He did plenty of interviews at the day interview together, but his is still on her Instagram. Hmm, that's interesting, right? That's one. And then you go here and that's the other post. That was, a, uh, you know, another post she didn't scrub of her and Carlos Kane interview. But funny, she scrubbed the run with Bethany. Could it be because Bethany is in a whole war with Bravo? Could it be? That now Nene might be forgiving Bravo and Bravo might be forgiving her. That she said, okay, let me detach from Bethany. Could it be that? Because look at all of the Carlos King stuff that she didn't delete from her Instagram, but she deleted Bethany. Now, is she, listen, is she lying? Is it the lies, the lies, the lies? Or is it because she really wants to just distance herself from Bethany because she might be getting back in bed with Bravo? Now, listen, guys, we're going to get more into this story right after this. <laughs>
All right, let me go ahead and share a screen with y'all. Let's get into this story. So Nene Leakes, Bethany Frankel, have no issues despite the Roa Alun scrubbing Instagram a podcast appearance, okay? So look at those two together. Nene went all the way out there to Bethany's home to do the podcast. So Nene Leakes and Bethany Frankel had no issues with each other, even though the Real Housewives of Atlanta alone scrubbed every trace of her appearance on the latter's Just Be podcast from his from her Instagram. A source close to the situation tells Page Six exclusive that Leaks 55 and the former Real Housewives of New York City star 53 have been talking and texting all week, even discussing working on future projects together. Nene was promoting the podcast episodes as they were airing, our insider says, of the September shows. There is no reason for her to promote old episodes, and Bethany has had new episodes since then. With told leaks who sued Bravo in April 2022 for allegedly fostering and tolerating a hostile and racist environment, simply cleaned up her Instagram from old promos. Y'all see that? Simply cleaned up her Instagram from old promos, as many people do, including Bethany. Well, she ain't really clean it up because, as I showed you earlier, she left the promos from Carlos Keen on her Instagram. But let's continue. As those two together when they was doing the podcast, okay? Our source points out that Frankel, who has taken aim at both the network and Honcho Andy Cohen amid her reality reckoning movement, is so grateful that she and Nene got to do a few episodes together. One informant tells us that Lise recently refollowed Bravo's Instagram page. Hello. While another claims it was the networks that started following leaks again. Hello. She followed them. They followed her. Doesn't matter what came first, the chicken or the egg. It just came. Right? And so Bravo is sticking it to uh, 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 Bethany now. Why would she just scrub Bethany? Bravo starts following her. She starts following Bravo and she scrubs Bethany out of the Instagram and not Carlos Kane interview. Let's talk. Either way, they now follow each other, which comes shortly after Cohen's eye bra raising remarks at BravoCon 2023 earlier this month. Mm. When the Real Housewives executive producer was asked during the three day convention whether Leaks would be able to return to Roa after her September 2020 exit, he replied, I'm a nostalgic guy. She and I came up together, and there's always room in my heart for, you know, everybody. Who knows, Coleman 55 at it. I mean, she asked me a few years ago to keep her name out of my mouth, so I'll try to respect that. Rest for Lee, Franco, and Bravo did not immediately respond, respond to our request for comments. Okay, listen, guys. This is what I do over here. I just give you my opinion. In my opinion, I think that potentially if um, Nene doesn't come back as a peach holder, she might come back as a friend doing a couple episodes on the upcoming season of Roa. And maybe they're just going to bring her in, in as a friend initially. Let's see how she acts, y'all. That's what they're thinking. Let's see if we can do this with her. Let's see if she's a changed woman. Let's see if she's going to be cool. And then if she's cool and Roa's um, numbers go up, perhaps we'll consider giving her back her peach. That's what I'm thinking. But they also gave us some stipulations. Because they're pissed. They're not mad at Bethany. They are pissed. And you know how Roa gets. I mean, not Roa. You know how Bravo gets. And the whole Truly Entertainment and all them over there. You pissed them off. You you almost dead to them. So right now, Bethany is dead to them. Bethany came for their neck. And they said, you know what? They want to leave her out to dry. Now Bethany is seeing what it's like to be iced out. So they told Needy, disassociate yourself from Bethany. And, and, you know, you get a couple of, uh, uh, you know, uh, episodes on the upcoming rower. We'll let you back. The door will be cracked. Not 100% open, but we'll crack the door. We'll crack the door, let you be a friend, and let's see how that goes. That's just my thoughts in my head. Because now they following each other? Interesting. And that bogus excuse of cleaning up your Instagram, but Carlos King interview is still on there, and Carlos King interview was before Bethany's? The lies I'm detecting on that one, you tried it, but you should have scrubbed Carlos too in order for me to believe it. But listen, guys, 
chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. How are you piecing this puzzle together? Now, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, people, and I'll see you on the next video.